my research basically looks at uh, exploring informal collaborations. So what I'm looking at is instances where um, community organizations, uh, other primary first sector organizations, second sector organizations, or individuals just come together uh, for organizing community events. And what I'm looking at is instances where there's no formal guidelines. There's no contracts, there's no defined way of doing things. And yet there's uh, tremendous people can all come together and make these fantastic things happen. And I'm trying to explore how the collaborative work of such things goes on, what happens behind the scenes, what happens on the day-to-day -day basis of it. The research method that I apply is called an ethnography, uh, which is more common in sociology or anthropology, perhaps. Uh, the basics of it is to live with and live like the people that you want to understand. So in the, in the beginning, usually people would go from a literature review, then go do the field work, and then start with the write-up. I began with the field work, so 21 months I was in the fields, I was doing the, uh, the menial labor <laughs> that was required for it, really. Uh, so after the field work, I've come away from it and I've analyzed my data, I've finished all the sort of putting things together. Uh, and now I'm at the stage where I'm uh, writing it up and at the same time trying to make sense of it with the literature. So I, I'm, in, I'm in my third year now, I will, I'm hoping to finish by end of this year. Uh, by December 2019, uh, hoping that I can make enough sense of the mess <laughs> by then. A lot of business work is about dehumanizing people, trying to put systems in place, a process, a plan, a way of doing things that could work for everyone, everywhere, at all points. And my work actually points out that that's not going to happen. That's not possible. The people on ground, they will have stories, they will have histories, they will have their backgrounds that come into play that resist such organizing. So my research is actually challenging some of the uh, prior assumptions about order and how you need to impose order. Uh, and I think creating a critical voice like that in itself can be a contribution. It, it makes us rethink about what are our priorities in life.